Welcome to VR Monday. Because today is VR Monday. Since I'm back and uploading videos daily, yesterday I was slightly late, but Eddie can confirm that I was tired and actually dying. But that doesn't matter. Today is VR Monday and I have a super exciting video for you guys. We are going to be installing custom home environments on the Oculus Quest. And this is an idea that I've had for a while now and I just haven't been able to bring it to life. And now that I actually have the chance to do that and to show you guys exactly how to do it, because you guys have actually been asking me to show you how to do it, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And then after that, for a different video, or maybe just like a side project, I'm actually going to try to recreate my room in Unity and make that a custom home environment. I don't know how that's going to work because I've only made one game in Unity and it was very bad. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. This is where I'd throw in an intro if I had one, you know what I mean? Are you, are you even listening to me? Look man, I, I'm gay. <laughs> okay, well, Glad you announced that to uh, 15,000 people. <laughs> First of all, what you need to have done on your Oculus Quest is you must have developer mode turned on. Very simple. I believe I threw it into a video. If I did, it'll be right up here. But just in case you have never done anything with SideQuest, let me show you exactly how to set up your developer account. Okay. So here's what you want to do. To create a developer account, you will need to enter this website here, dashboard.oculus.com. And then when you enter that website, you need to create an organization. Once you create this organization, you should be ready to go into your phone. So I'm going to switch to the phone view now, and I'm going to show you what you need to do on your phone. So on your phone, you want to go into the Oculus Quest app right here. And then you want to click on settings down here. Then once you're clicked into settings, you want to select your Oculus Quest, press the down arrow, click on more settings, and click on developer mode. Then you want to toggle developer mode to on. If I didn't, there's a bunch of videos on there because what we need to do is we need to connect the Quest to our computer using developer mode. Basically, we need to use SideQuest. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our Oculus Quest, power it on, and we are going to connect it to our computer. This should give basically ADB access from the Quest to the computer, allowing it to install apps and things like that. So I know I'm late to the party, I always am, but hey, you guys asked for it. I don't know, maybe you guys like my way of explaining things. So today we are going to be doing just that. We're going to be installing custom home environments. So uh, first of all, you are going to need to find yourself a custom home environment that you like, and I will have a link to the Discord with custom home environments down in the description below. So first of all, you need to join that Discord. It's called the Quest Homes Discord and I will have this down in the description below. So in this Discord, you go straight into the Quest Homes environment and you find yourself an environment that you like. So just looking through the environments here, I'm just gonna grab any one of them because as I said, I'm going to actually attempt to create my own one. So let's just go for, wait, there was a Minecraft one there. I need that one in my life. I'm gonna go for the Minecraft one. I need this in my life. So. Here you then, you download this, and while that's downloading, they all have different names, so I assume all of these are different. Classic, Silent, Space Station, Space Station Silent, Winter Lodge, and Winter Lodge Silent. So these are all like the different backgrounds you will have on your custom home environment. So I am actually just going to go for Classic Home, and not silent. And now that your quest is connected to your computer, you just launch SideQuest. We're gonna let SideQuest here load in. Before you can install your custom home environment, you must delete the old one or else the package will be incompatible as showed up right here. I totally forgot about this. So currently installed apps, you click into, and then you search for Environ. You wanna select show all over here, and you wanna type in environment. And as you see here, Oculus Prod Rift Home, you want to uninstall app, just like that. And now we have uninstalled the official home environment. So now we should be able well, to flash our custom home environment without any issues just like that. So now I will show you exactly how to launch it in your Oculus Quest. You might already know what to do from here since it's not too hard, but I will show you exactly what to do. So as you guys can see now, we are on the Oculus Quest and I'm going to show you exactly how to select your custom home environment. Let me just say there's barely any latency between me actually moving my head 
and it's showing up on screen, which is just amazing. Uh, it proves that we totally fixed the internet here. Also, Eddie, they can see you. What? They can see you. Why? Because you are sitting there and I'm on the Oculus Quest. This is a square. If anybody criticizes my square, you get squared. Yeah, you heard me, right? Okay, so as you guys can see right now, from here, what you do is you go into settings, see all, virtual environment, and you select the classic home environment. And even though it's showing up as not actually being the Minecraft environment, as you can see, we are totally in the Minecraft home environment. This is so cool. How? Ah. I'm gonna break something in a second. That's not what I wanted to do. As you can see guys, we have the custom home environment in the Oculus Quest. And that's how simple it is. And now, I guess it's my turn to try and create my own. If it's done in Unity, I'm gonna have a fun time. This is so cool. Yo, Eddie. Come check this out. So you, you know that menu in the Oculus Quest that used to be like a house and then it was just pass through so that you could see like around you? Yes. So n look at the menu now, come here. Why? Actually, that's like, kind of cool. It is, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's pretty sick. I'm <laughs> a villager. Dude, I wanna get the chest. Oh yeah. Go to the chest, bro. We have hand tracking. You can go to the, you can go to the chest. Go to the chest. I'm, I'm trying. I'm Walk. Physically. Keep walking. I, Don't worry about it. Keep walking. Keep what? Oh, you little sh. <laughs> How do I teleport here? I know I can. You can't. It's a home environment. What? It's the menu. See? But like. Oh. You can't oh. teleport in the menu. It's literally the menu. Okay. Yeah. I see what you mean. See, I yeah, see. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Isn't it? That's sweet. I know, right? So, as you guys saw there, that isn't too hard. All you do is, number one, you join the Homes Discord. Number two, you find yourself a nice environment that you like. Number three, you must delete the old environment to overwrite it on the Oculus Quest, making the Oculus Quest think that it is a normal environment when in fact it is a custom one. And that's it. You have a custom home environment on the Oculus Quest. That is going to be it for today's VR Monday video. I hope you guys liked it. It was suggested quite a lot and I was supposed to do it before I left for Poland, but unfortunately I am always late to the party and uh, of course I couldn't do it before I left to Poland because of other reasons. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. You guys have been giving the channel a lot of support lately and I want to thank you so much for that. You continued giving the channel support even when I was gone for holidays, so thank you so much for that. If you guys dislike the video, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys want to join our community, make sure to join our Discord down in the description below. Make sure to join us on Reddit where I want to see you guys posting spicy memes and that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys want to be notified of future content coming up daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Now, if you don't mind me, I need to go create my own custom home environment. Peace. Okay, because I know there's going to be people wanting to see this, I made two copies of the game when I first created it. One was a PC version that actually sort of worked, and one was a phone version. It was basically just a translated version of the PC version, straight in the Unity app creator. Your phone and personal data are more vulnerable to attack by unknown apps. By installing this app, you agree that you are responsible for any damage to your phone or loss of data that they might result in. Yep, this app is definitely going to cause loss of data. <laughs> so, we're gonna install it. Oh, you <laughs> blocked my brain. <laughs> my beautiful app is getting blocked by Google Play Protect. <laughs> oh, that doesn't matter. We'll do it anyway. Oh, 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 send it off. <laughs> oh my God. This is my beautiful app. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I knew there were people there that were going to want to see this. So this is for you guys that were definitely 100% interested in what I made and the abomination that it became. So 
Also, the humming sound in the background is my laptop, so I sincerely apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, here's... Th this is your fault. <laughs> I just thought of my old intro. Not the one you're thinking of. Not Welcome People from Earth and Beyond, not that one. There was There was one before that. And I was about to start off this video in a very similar way. Oh, it's not a bad one, but I'm not going to do it now because now I remembered it. So I'm not going to do what that now. It? I, I, it was like, hello there, people, and welcome to OK Productions. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that now. OK. Uh, how do I start it off then? Oh yeah, first of all, I need to sync the audio. Okay.